Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Clone Troopers from the Target exclusive Battle of Christophsis Battle Pack. Um, if you'd like to see these guys' packaging, it's in the um, ATAP review from the uh, the uh, Battle Pack. Um, it, I just had to move the camera back, and it's it's the box is too large to put in these um, normal reviews. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, these figures here. They're both basically the same, so we'll just look at one of them for the rest of the review here. He stands, let's see, about three and three quarter inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other Star Wars figures. And he's on the, you know, the basic Clone Wars uh, Clone Trooper body. And of course, he comes with the um, smaller Clone Blaster here. You know, we've seen these a million times, but, you know... They fit with the figure, so I don't mind seeing it again. And then the other figure um, comes with the longer clone blaster. Again, we've seen these a million times, but they're accurate to the character, so I don't mind seeing them over and over. As far as the paintwork on these guys, um, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, they've got this design on their shoulder, which is very well printed on both of them. And if you'll notice here, he's got like a, a wash over the entire figure. And it makes it look like this guy has seen a lot of battle. Um, it's not too heavy handed, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's light enough that it shows off all of the detail of the figure while making him look more realistic and, you know, battle damaged. Um, you know, and it just, it improves the look of the figure overall. I feel like my light's kind of washing it out a little bit, but... In hand, you can definitely tell that these guys, um, you know, have been, uh, had some extra paint applied to them. As far as articulation and everything goes on these figures, they've got a ball peg in the head, which gives them a, you know, reasonable range of motion. They've got ball hinge shoulders with a nice range of motion. They do swivel 360, of course. Hinged elbows with a swivel. Hinged wrists with a swivel. And on this hand, the uh, hinge runs horizontally through the hand, and on this one, it runs vertically. So that's nice. Pretty standard for these clone figures, but it's always nice to see it again. He's got what feels like a hinge and then a swivel in the torso, which gives him, you know, all of the range of motion you would need. Swivel hips with a decent range of motion. Hinged knees with a swivel. Hinged ankles, again, with a swivel. So this guy's pretty standard overall, but I think the paint job on him makes him stand out um, above the rest of the Clone Wars Clone Troopers, uh, you know, to become something kind of special, which is cool. So um, would I say that these guys are worth picking up the entire pack for? You know, probably not, but I, I'm definitely glad that they were included. And the pack so far as a whole has been pretty, you know, pretty good. You get the ATAP. Um, you get a, you know, decent Clone Wars Anakin, two really cool clones, um, some more battle droids, and a paint variant version of the ATT. So overall, it's a, it's a pretty cool pack. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.